In this lesson, we're going to talk about containers and specifically how Brizzy is being very innovative in the way in which it approaches various different common elements. So what am I talking about? Let me give you an example. Let's go ahead and add a new section. And inside there, we're going to add in accordion. So let's come across to our elements and do a search for accordion. And we'll add that into our container. You can see this now creates a typical looking accordion. However, this doesn't work in the same way that you might be used to with lots of other builders that are out there. So let me just get rid of this placeholder. You can see what happens is we basically have a container inside our accordion. And at first this might look really, really simple. However, what it does do is it gives us a huge amount of creative flexibility. So let's say we wanted to create two columns with an image on the left hand side, on the right hand side a description, some text, buttons, so on. Well, we can do that really easily. We can click the plus and we can choose to insert some columns. So let's go ahead, insert columns, and you can see we now have two columns. We can adjust the size of this to get exactly what we want. And now we can go ahead and add the next element, which in this example is going to be our image. So we'll drop our image in, we'll select an image, we'll choose that from our media library, we'll choose this option, hit select. We now have an image placed inside there and we can position this to make sure it looks perfect. Next up, we'll go ahead and we'll add in another element. So this time we're going to grab some text. We'll drop that inside there. Looks pretty cool. We can go ahead and adjust anything inside here as well. So we want to change our styling. We'll set this to be Montserrat, for example. Looks pretty cool. Let me just add a little more text to this. It looks a little less empty. There we go. And now we're going to add another element in. So let's go back up to our elements. We're going to grab a button, move that over, drop that inside our design. And now we can go ahead and do whatever we want with our button. So we can align this to the right hand side. We can set whatever link we want there, change our colors, get everything to tie in exactly as we want to. But this is how easy it is to use the container element to build up much more comprehensive designs inside elements like the accordion, timeline, those kinds of things. Whereas in some other page builders, you may have to rely upon nesting templates and those kinds of things. So this is a really innovative way of working. And now when we're ready, we can use the same set of design skills I've just demonstrated to flesh out the rest of our accordion and any of the other elements that use the same kind of container element design principle. <laughs>